Welcome to Conversations with Body and Mind with myself, Nirvana Langer, Body Health and Wellness Online Directory. And coming up in today's conversation, I'll be chatting to Laura Light, and she's going to tell us all about the Kaleidoscope Crystal Healing. Um, good morning, Laura. How are you doing? Morning, Nirvana. Well in yourself. I, I'm good. Thank you. I cannot complain. And um, yeah, looking forward to um, learning a little bit more about your kaleidoscope and kaleidoscope healing. And uh, but before we do that, tell me a little bit more about your journey, how how it all started for you. How did you discover kaleidoscopes, and um, and brought you to to do healing? Well, briefly, what happened was is that my my family, well, my father was always involved with making glass, uh, working with glass. So glass came naturally to me. In fact, when I studied interior design, I built a glass pyramid and decorated it with glass furniture. Uh, I then became a paramedic and I realized I was dealing with people at the end of some catastrophe. And for me, that was the beginning of my awakening. The search was, I don't want to be on this end of helping people. So I um, moved to Grahamstown and worked as a trainer for St. John Ambulance and during that time started making kaleidoscopes as toys because that's what I thought they were uh, to, to sell at the Grahamstown Festival. But I had people come back and tell me that they loved certain colors but they couldn't look at it through the kaleidoscope. For example, why does yellow make me feel ill when I look through your kaleidoscope? I was like, oh, I have no idea. Or um, how come I can't look at blue through your kaleidoscope? And I had no idea. So being at Grahamstown, I went to the university and I realized that there was only just one book that I managed to find. And in that book, it was a complete gem. It was Theo Gimbel's book and he studied directly under Rudolf Steiner. And he did a whole lot of experiments using light and color and shape and form and sound. So it became my Bible and my go-to. And it was during that stage I realized that color actually plays a huge part on our physiology and on our emotional bodies. So I then went back to this friend of mine who was a nursing sister and I asked her if she had low blood pressure, why she couldn't look at the blue. And she said to me, I had very low. So it made sense then that having low blood pressure and looking at the color blue actually decreased your blood pressure and your pulse rate. So she couldn't look at it. So the body instinctively knew. And I thought to myself, how weird is this? This toy has an ability to change something physically in us. And that was how the quest began. Hmm. Wow, that's quite amazing. And so now here we are with uh, your kaleidoscopes and the healing. A whole lot of other things with color as well. So why don't you tell us and show us a little bit more about your kaleidoscope? Okay, so... This is the box set. It comes all wrapped up and it's, we call it a healing device. If you look at the patent for the kaleidoscope, he actually calls it a healing, well, not a healing device. He calls it a device, an optical device. And basically our kaleidoscope looks like this. It's got the tube in the front, which has the gemstones and the crystals. And we have ones that have different colors because now we know color affects you in a different way. So, for example, I've got this one, which I'm sure you can see. It's got all the warm colors. And these warm colors actually wake your system up, activate your body. It's called the sunshine tube. And what it does is it actually stimulates your body and stimulates your mind to get you ready for the day. Then there's this one, which is the... Let me just see. There we go. The cool spectrum. This mm -hmm. is all the cool colors and it helps to actually calm and de-stress your, your body and your mind. It also works with, um, if you've got eye strain at night, it helps just to relieve eye strain. It's one of the qualities of looking through a kaleidoscope. Now, the interesting thing about the word kaleidoscope, it means to view beautiful forms. So that to me was also part of my research is how can something that has an energy of um, being a toy affect us in such a, a powerful way. And that was my research and has been. It's been my whole adult's life has been all about kaleidoscopes from these little toys, uh, which are optical instruments to working with light projections. And it is all about 
the soul or the, the spiritual aspect of our nature being triggered by looking at something beautiful. Mm. You know, at the turn of the century when kaleidoscopes were invented, it was a complete craze. It was like, um, like the latest iPhone. Everyone had a kaleidoscope. Uh, and, and that was a craze because everything was so dull and gray. Mm. And that was the only color. But obviously that's a talk for another time. But basically what I'm coming to is nowadays we realize that we overworked, we overstressed. And the only way that we can really realize that we can change our lives is to go within. Mm. So kaleidoscopes have the ability to, when you look at it, you're actually being affected by the colors because we know color and crystals work with us. And those patterns actually harmonize and synchronize your brain. And if I can quote, um, Joe Dispenza, Dr. Joe Dispenza, what he's doing with his work, which is changing beliefs. He actually uses the kaleidoscope image as part of the process to help people get into a more relaxed, and he calls it a trance-like stage, uh, phase in their life, so that you can actually envision new stuff. So he's using it, and, and it's something that I felt so long ago, and it's such a beautiful thing for us to be experiencing now. And so kaleidoscopes. Sorry, Laura, I um, just want you to go into the dance that you are now offering with the kaleidoscope and, and um, what else you have to offer. If you can give us about a minute to two minutes of, of uh, details okay. about that. The kaleidoscope projector is a way of bringing this crystal light, which is a projection through gemstones and crystals onto a wall and onto a person. And that then is now a projected image that you actually stand and move and dance in. Now, because we know that we are made out of light and because we know the word kaleidoscope means to view beautiful forms, you become that beauty. You become that image. So your sense of ego of um, being self-conscious or uh, not being very, um, like having issues with self-esteem, disappear because you become beautiful mm -hmm. and everyone around you sees that so when you wear white and you dance in the light you become radiant you become extraordinary so i developed three different things that i do in that the one is called the kaleidoscope dance jam and it is a two-hour dance session where you actually i take you through different sounds and different colors so it activates all your senses and and smell by the way so it activates all your senses to allow you to, to really feel what it feels like to have no inhibition in terms of letting your spirit free, letting mm. your, your joy come to the surface. Then the other uh, thing I do is um, an open eye meditation. So you would sit and you would have the tones or you would tone as a group and you would watch the images on the wall and synchronize your breath with the movement of the images. Then the third thing I do is very personal, but it is done in groups as well. It is called the soul portrait. And for this, I set up a mirror opposite you. And I then project the light onto your face and onto your body. And you become that image. And that's, it allows different aspects of your soul light to shine through. And everyone sees it. And it's always beautiful because we are beautiful. Mm. We just don't know it. Yeah, absolutely. And that's one thing a lot of us forget when we're looking at the so-called baddie is that we forget that beautiful light that is inside. It doesn't matter what the actions is and, and what they choose to do. They still have that beautiful crystal light in, you know, soul light inside. Exactly. Of yeah. Exactly. Like, right. <clears throat> Laura, how can people get hold of you? Where are you based? Um, and you want to give me your social media links um, so that people can connect with you, please. Okay, you can go to lauralight.com, find my information on my website. I'm also on Facebook under Laura Light and Laura Kaleidoscope Light. I'm on Instagram. Uh, you can email me, which all my details are on my website. And obviously with the lockdown, I'm doing online Zoom sessions. And that's going to be quite extraordinary. Thank Fantastic. you. Fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Lara. And please know that you can go to the Body and Mind website, bodyandmind.coza. We also have our Body and Mind blog site. 
and you can download the Body and Mind Health Directory app in your Apple as well as in your Android Play stores and you can interact with us that way, listen to our interviews and please do subscribe to the YouTube channel and get notifications when we have our next conversation as well as share this with people that you think can gain benefit with us. And we welcome Laura as one of our new members that has joined us and we're looking forward to uh, continuous giving you support and exposure and marketing your very beautiful product. Thank you very much, Laura. Thanks, Nirvana. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.